YouTube, what's the deal, man? I ain't been on this shit in a minute. You feel me? <laughs> this shit kind of feel weird recording a fucking video about four months, but shit, man. Low key. In this video, I'ma just, you know, give y'all an update on what the fuck been going on and shit. You feel me? So, check this out. A couple of months ago, you feel me? I, I recorded my last video. I had some more videos to upload and shit. But me, personally, I just feel like the videos is like lame. Like, you feel me? It just felt lame. And I didn't feel like putting some shit up just to be putting some shit up. Like, y'all know, whenever I record, I try to make that shit, you know, best as possible. You know, it's quality over quantity with me, you know? So I ain't wanna put no bullshit up. And this shit was together. You feel me? Like, these last couple of months, I just been learning like who I am more and more, you feel me? Um, I've been off of fucking social media for fucking months now. Like I have not been on Instagram. I rarely use Snapchat. It's like I damn near use Snapchat like once a fucking week. And I just go in there to watch like two stories. And I'm off that motherfucker. Like, I'm not posting shit. Nothing. Like, you feel me? And, um, one thing. I hate how I've been on fucking Instagram and all this other bullshit for, like, going on three months now, right? And now it's like, for some reason, bullshit that have been happening on the internet and social media shit. That shit is slowly finding its way to to come to me, like, and get my attention. Like, you feel me? Like, I seen so much bullshit starting to pop up on within the YouTube algorithm. Like, it's a bunch of shit that, like, I ain't been fucking with, with bro. Like, you feel me? Like, the shit with Lil Nas X, you feel me? All the... The fucking, the simping shit that's going on, like, man, I know niggas is telling me, bro, you should make a video about the whole situation with fucking Brittany Renner and PJ Washington, man. I'm gonna just speak on that briefly, you feel me? Nigga, that nigga gotta be the dumbest motherfucker to have ever get played on fucking planet Earth. Ain't no way in hell this bitch didn't made a video about all the niggas she was fucking and all this other shit. And you cuff that. And you get it pregnant. Like, it's one thing to fuck a thought ass bitch, but you fuck a thought ass bitch and get her pregnant. My nigga, it's over for you. That shit through, man. That shit crazy, bro. And I fucking just don't believe nobody in his circle is telling this nigga like bro don't do that bullshit quit fuck with her like come on man she didn't made a whole fucking book about the shit she talked about after she played the nigga and all that shit broke with him she's sitting there talking about i don't feel bad and this and that you know thought logic like thoughts just think they fucking smart and they don't realize they fucking their own future up by doing thought ass shit but you know, this not the video for that, man. I'm just speaking on how the fuck I'm off the internet. The reason why I be taking breaks off social media because my fucking psyche, my fucking mental can't handle the type of shit I be seeing. I see shit that just like, like, like make me mad, piss me off. So I distance myself from, away from a fucking problem than rather just keep letting the shit be up in my face. Like, you feel me? Like, I know a couple of people was looking for my Instagram and shit. It's still, it's still, you know, Strap Guy EJ. But the thing is, you're not going to find it right now because my shit disabled. Like, I've been off the fucking internet for, for a while, bro. I haven't 
been doing shit related to social media like at all like it came to a point niggas asking where the fuck you been this and that like nigga i haven't been playing a game nothing i just literally just been doing me chilling bro like you feel me i just been doing me you feel me a lot of personal shit going on in my life i gotta deal with and this and that you feel me i just separate myself from the bullshit and you know i just do what i do live a peaceful life i like my life to be peaceful i don't like bullshit and drama in my life like you feel me and then niggas thinking i'm acting faking nah bro nah i've been talking to my bros if you want a mind you want a mind i don't just fucking up and disappear out of nowhere that's not what the fuck i do i at least let my bros know that you know man i'm about to be out the way for a minute you feel me because i feel personally that everybody once in a while just gotta lay back and just observe shit and let shit play out you feel me because that's what the fuck i like to do like i never was the type of person that just be sitting around surrounding myself with bullshit and then not react to it like you feel me like it's one thing to just have some bullshit in your life and it's another thing to have bullshit in your life and have the will to to you know get the shit out the way because a motherfucker would just keep going through the same bullshit in life and just never think about you know laying back and doing their own shit for a minute like you feel me i mean like I said, me personally off the camera and off the internet and shit, bro. Trying to get my fucking car and shit. Trying to get my fucking license. I got my permit. Just got to take the road test and shit. Got the cheese to buy a car. You feel me? I'm just waiting to take the road test. So then when I come back to the internet, I'll be able to start like fucking, you know, I have the transportation and go and do shit. Like I, it's, I can do a lot more shit off you know off youtube and shit i've been learning about making more high quality videos and shit on top of that like when i come back it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be green like you feel me and on top of that i'm trying to save up to get a pc so i don't have to keep recording off of phone you feel me because i mean it's simple to record off your phone but it's like it's a tedious fucking process especially when you don't have the fucking necessary equipment but the main fucking reason why i won't stop uploading for a minute is because my ring light broke well not the ring light itself but like the stand that holds your phone up that shit broke and i'm not about to be sitting here and trying to fucking get some books and balance that shit up on some books to try to get it straightened like i'm not doing that shit bro you feel me I might go ahead, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and give me another ring light so I could just start recording this shit. Because it's like, when you don't have the equipment for your shit, you're not going to feel motivated to fucking upload. Like, you feel me? Because that fucking ring light and equipment just as a whole, the shit is a game changer when it comes to making videos. You feel me? But, um... Yeah, man, off, I've been off fucking internet, watching a lot of videos for mental, physical, and spiritual growth. You feel me? I just been watching a lot of shit. Like, you feel me? I just, I've been watching Kevin Samuels on a consistent basis. Steph is cold. You know, Austin Dunham, like, you feel me? Just a lot of, you know, red pill, you know, videos and shit. Like, I always been fucking, like, red pill, like, without even knowing it type shit. I, like, this red pill term is, like, new to me, bro. Because, you know, when a nigga get it, when a nigga get his heart broke, it's the two type of niggas that fucking how they take heartbreak when they get their heart broken. It's two different ways. You get the niggas that get their heart broke, be sad for a minute, and then just fucking don't make no type of self-improvements and just get back out in the fucking dating market to find a bitch. 
just to have the same fucking thing to happen or some similar results to take place. You feel me? And then you get the other type of niggas where they get their heart broke and they can't deal with the shit. And they just want to know, like, why the fuck this bitch is doing shit to me? And you get the niggas like that with that mindset. They start getting hip about how these fucking women act and the type of shit that they do. And approve upon it that I use, you know, female nature to their advantage. Because once you learn about how these hoes be moving, you get to changing mental. Like, it's just, it just changes you. Like, you feel me? I'm going to make a story about, like, the day I went red pill or some shit like that. I'm going to do that shit later. But that's not the type of channel I'm going to try to turn i'm not gonna try to turn this channel into like a red pill i'm gonna try to keep it entertainment based with just a little you know bits of you know keeping shit real i might make a motherfucking backup channel call that shit shit keeping it a band or keeping it a stackers you know some shit like that and then i you know make them type of videos on that channel you feel me but on this channel i want to do entertainment based shit you feel me so, you know, just be ready for that. Because when I get successful on this platform, that story and the shit I went through with, like, women and shit, and I just woke up one day and just fucking turned into a different person, that shit gone, you feel me? That shit, that shit gone hit, y'all. You know, just be prepared for that, you feel me? But like I said, um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. You feel me? I ain't been playing no games for real. Like, all the games right now is fucking trash. Call of Duty ass. 2K ass. Like, it ain't nothing good to fucking play. Especially on console. Like, it ain't shit to play. Like, Call of Duty, me personally, bro. Like, Call of Duty was my childhood game of choice. And these punk ass motherfuckers at Activision, they just don't care about their fans. They don't care about their customers. Because you know the biggest complaints with us and you still don't make no fucking adjustments to the fucking customers once. Because what they fail to realize is that it's... It's not about you. It's about the fucking customer and the product that they spending their hard earned money for. I don't spend 70 fucking dollars to play a rushed piece of shit Call of Duty with some nasty trifling ass skill based matchmaking. And Cold War just like, after just seeing them blatant disrespect coming from Activision, like they don't give a fuck about their customers. I'm not, I'm not fuck with Activision. I'm not buying no more Call of Duties no more until the shit becomes good. I'm not doing it. I'm not buying Vanguard. I'm not buying the next Call of Duties until these motherfuckers get this shit right. You feel me? I'm not fucking with them. So, that's that. And my dumbass bought the fucking Battle Pass and I don't even play this shit, nigga. I'm on like fucking tier 12, nigga. I don't fuck with this shit. I don't play those, this fucking Call of Duty bullshit. I, don't, I do not fuck with this shit no more. It just don't hit no more. You feel me? This shit whack as hell, low key. Like, you feel me? This shit whack. I don't want to keep playing this boring ass shit, man. But, um, yeah. That's kind of like an update what's been going on and shit. Um, I guess I will come back and start making videos, but I'm it's gonna have to be voiceover type videos for a minute. Like I can't record my face and shit cause I gotta order me a, a ring light. So the shit will be green. Cause like I said, I'm not doing that balancing that shit against fucking books and other shit. Like that shit could, but um, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. You feel me? The next video, I got a funny ass story time for y'all. It's gonna be 
the fucking story about these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers was fighting at Golden Corral over a goddamn dinner row. That shit pitiful as hell, man. <laughs> but, um, he has been your boy, uh, EJ. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out, bruh.